You want to make Minecraft less laggy? Let's do it. Now we're going to be using Notifine in this. It's a mod pack that we created, but I promise it's really, really good. It has all of Optifine's features, a lot of times doubling or even tripling performance, sometimes even allowing for doubling performance while still using shaders. It's really good. I'm going to show you how to get it quickly in this, but the basis of this is we are going to be using fabric and sodium. A lot is added on top of sodium and Notifine, but if you just want the most basic way to get good performance out of Minecraft, you can use sodium. There's an in-depth guide on getting it in the description down below, and that will allow you to get a lot of the settings you're going to be using here, but by no means all of them. Like I said, there's a lot of performance and, and mods and things like that on top of sodium with the Notifine mod pack. As far as the Notifine mod pack goes, you can get it on CurseForge and Modernth. It's linked in the description down below on both platforms. You will need to use their respective apps. For Modernth, you could get Modernth app up here, download it, and install it just like any other program. For Curse Words, it's the same thing. Click Get Curse Words app in the top right, and then you can download standalone and install it like any other program. As far as Curse Words goes, this is what it will look like when you first open it. You want to select Minecraft, and then go ahead and make sure it's standard and click Continue. Then to get Not a Fine, up here at the top, search Not a Fine, right like so, and when you do, it will pop up. Just go ahead and click install on it, and now it will install. It's that easy to install, easier to install than other, you know, individual mods and things like that. This takes care of everything. Once the mod pack is installed, you will have a play button here. Click that play button, and the Minecraft launcher will open. You will need to log in to the Minecraft launcher, and the good news about that is it's the default Minecraft launcher, the same one you normally use to play Minecraft here, except it's launched through CurseForge. I'm going to go ahead and log in, and then select Minecraft Java on the left-hand side. Make sure not a find is selected here, and play Minecraft. Minecraft. You have to click play twice because you're playing modded Minecraft in order to get better performance. Now with that, how can we get Notifine set up to get you the most FPS possible? Let me show you. So in the Minecraft launcher with Notifine, we can go to options and then video settings and it looks completely different from vanilla. And that's what I was telling you. This is what this adds to Minecraft. Now, first things first, we're going to be going over the best FPS you can possibly get here. And you can change these, for example, render distance, right? The best FPS you could get is two by turning this down to two. Now, I'm going to leave that about eight for this video, but for the rest of the settings, you can play around with them a bit. If you want to turn things up, turn things down, see how it affects your FPS, do that, right? that's the whole reason that this is here is in order to allow you to actually get the most FPS possible. Now, before we get into this, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below. The breakdown did XYZ says SGA to start your very own 24-hour DDoS break in Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server and truthfully customize your server any way that you want. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So you gotta check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown did XYZ says SGA to start your Minecraft server and play with your friends the simple way. First things first here, we want to go ahead and turn off shaders. So we're going to go to shaders up at the top, and I'm just going to disable them. Shaders are the biggest performance hit in Minecraft, so turning them off immediately adds a ton of performance boost. For render distance, we're going to set that to whatever you think is comfortable. 8 is usually a good place. As you can see, if you hover over this, this has a high performance impact. 2 is technically going to be the best render distance, but 8 is a solid render distance. As far as the shadow distance, turn that all the way down. The simulation distance, turn that all the way down. And brightness doesn't affect performance. You can set that to anything that you want. For your resolution, the different resolution when full screen is going to provide a difference, but I actually don't play Minecraft full screen. But the lower your resolution while full screen, the better right? So you want to lower that as much as possible. For your FPS here, VSync, we want to actually keep that on generally, but if you want to get the most FPS possible, which is what we're going for here, I'm actually going to turn it off. That will limit your FPS, but provide a smoother experience. Same thing for max frame rate. We're going to go ahead and make that unlimited. That way we can see the maximum amount of FPS we can get, but generally limiting that to 120 or 60 frames per second is good. View bobbing, attack indicator, auto-save, that does not matter. It does not affect performance. We can go ahead and click apply. We want to move on to quality here. For graphics, we want to set these to fast. Color space can be left as is. For clouds, we want to turn those off. Weather, we want to set to fast. Leaves, we want to set that to fast. Particles, we want to turn those to minimal. Smooth lighting, turn that off. Bio blend, turn that off as well. There we go. Entity distance can be turned all the way down. The entity shadows can be turned off. Vignette doesn't affect performance. You can leave that on or off. Distortion effects, want to turn that all the way down. FOV effects doesn't really affect performance. You can change that however you want. I'm going to turn it off. Mint Mac levels, turn those all the way down and click apply. Now that's all set up for the most performance possible, and we can move on to the performance tab. This one's actually really easy. Generally, just leave everything as is. You can change chunk update threads depending on your CPU to more like a middle value. Somewhere around here for me would be 5.6, 15 is my max, so we don't want to go somewhere around the middle. 
right about there. But that's not going to necessarily always create a boost in FPS. So leaving it as default, that's perfectly fine as well. Everything else here, leave turned on. Click apply and then move on to advanced where same thing. Just leave this as is animations. I can turn all of these off. It's going to give the best performance. So we want to go ahead and set that to all off and click apply for particles. We want to also do the same thing. Turn them all off by clicking all there, clicking apply details all off again. Now I actually do like to have weather, sun and moon because while it does increase performance to turn those off, I just like them. So we're going to leave them on and then click apply. And then last but not least render leave all of these the same and extras leave all of these the same, except you may want to show FPS. What this is going to do is show your FPS all the time in Minecraft, and that can be really cool and kind of helpful. Now we can go ahead and click apply, done, and let's jump in game. As far as your worlds go, they're not going to be here. You'll need to transfer them from your other Minecraft installation. I'll quickly show you how to do that after we jump in game and see the FPS. So let's go ahead, go into game here, and we should get well over 100, most likely well more than that FPS on my computer. Up in the top left, you can actually see the FPS in real time. 500, 800, 700, 900, 1,000, 100 FPS there. 11, 1,300 FPS, 1,700 FPS. Absolutely insane. If you can't tell, I could really uh, take things up a notch um, and, and really add more uh performance and, and add more things like up in our render distance and all that let's go ahead and turn on shaders here though because it actually is interesting to see what with makeup ultra fast shaders we can get as far as fps goes and as soon as we turn on shaders the game looks a lot better and i'm still getting 400 fps consistently but that's what's crazy that's how big of an impact shaders can have one other tip if you're running shaders packs for performance go to options video settings shader packs here and there are shader pack settings now by default medium is the profile but you can turn this to like for example shadowless low or shadowless high and it's going to be a really good performance boost to shaders turning it to low even will even give a performance boost to shaders right like so less shading all of that stuff but generally you will get more fps uh, mine's actually stayed relatively the same but you know, it's going to depend on your computer with that. But there you have it. That's how you can get the best performance in Minecraft. To add your worlds to Notifine here, close out of the game, and then go to the Minecraft launcher. This is going to be the default Minecraft launcher that you, you know, always use whenever you play Minecraft normally before you had Notifine installed. In the Minecraft launcher, click on installations at the top and then find the installation you would normally play. This could be modded or a vanilla installation and click the folder icon. Then find your saves folder. Right here it is for me. Right click on this and copy it. Now go back into the CurseForge app and then in the CurseForge app when you open it up, you should be on your My Mod Packs tab. That's what this looks like here. We can see on the left hand side, if you click on Minecraft, it'll take you here. Right click on Notify, click open folder and then right click and paste your saves in here. Once you do that, it will look similar to this and your worlds will be in game and can be played. You can also play any server you want with Notifying. So there you have it. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your new FPS in Minecraft and I'm out. Peace.